I'm Mark Reynolds. I'm a senior mechanical engineer here at MRI Global, and I specialize in virtual and augmented reality. Virtual reality, normally you're talking about having a headset on or something that's immersing you in a digital environment of some sort. Uh, you normally have hand controls that allow you to move around in the world, interact with different objects in that world. Uh, with augmented reality, you typically have a device or uh, either a headset or some kind of a handheld that you're able to still see the, the world around you, um, but it's digitally overlaying something on there or giving you text or um, audio voiceover, perhaps if it was a headset. A lot of people know like Pokemon Go with the, their phones or a tablet. Um, and so you can still see the, the space and the world around you. For MRI Global and how we're using AR and VR technology, a lot of it has been with training um, for different users. Uh, we're able to take devices that are being currently developed. Um, maybe there is not a real world device yet. They're still um, being developed, but we're able to take the 3D models of those and then put those into the augmented or the virtual realm and then the clients can use that to get feedback on how well that device is possibly going to be operated or things they need to work on um, with inputs and just uh, also develop training for you know a new user rather than having to sit through and read 200 pages of a instruction manual or maybe PowerPoint presentations. They could have this at home. They could have it, um, you know, with some of our typical clients. It's uh, soldiers on base somewhere. Uh, they could have that item shipped to them and be able to put on the headset and be able to go through that training no matter where they're at. Again, it's a virtual world. Um, we always joke that when we're going through training is you can't break anything except for the device, but you know, we can have them go in and they can have you know, manipulate a device and uh, you know push buttons and just try to you know do things incorrectly um, as a training method to see you know uh, how their learning is going and so you can have uh, performance metrics that help tell how well this person has learned this uh, typical uh, particular training maybe they didn't follow the steps properly and they took something apart they weren't supposed to take apart so you could have it s simulated in the virtual environment and you, you don't pose the same um, threat. We're still developing, getting um, you know accustomed to the, the VR AR world and it, it is changing, but we, we have, we're gaining a lot of experience with that. And, and just with client feedback, it's um, it's been very helpful for them and just being able to get soldiers and other users onboarded quickly with tech, the technology. I would say it, it's definitely something to check out and, and you know have us come give a demonstration and we can you know, work with you to decide, you know, what would work best for you.